Namaste and welcome to our N5D Patreon Bid Month Energy Report for March 2024. From my heart, thank you for your support. Good day to you, sir. In recent videos on N5D, people have talked about being extra tired lately, and we can definitely attribute this to recent solar activity. We have a glancing CME, coronal mass ejection, ready to hit Earth anytime now, and there's some active coronal holes in the sun that are about to be earth facing. So we'll keep an eye on those as well. Our bodies are absorbing these new energies from space events like coronal mass ejections and solar flares. While we do absorb these energies, they can also make us feel really tired and exhausted. Sometimes these changes happen when we're sleeping, but because of these new energies, we might feel even more exhausted than usual. So you're getting an energy upgrade, but it's gonna make you feel a little bit drained. I'd like to wish everyone a happy spring equinox and a happy Ostara for our pagan friends. In pagan cultures, Ostara is a holiday celebrated during the spring equinox, typically around March 20th or the 21st. It's a time when day and night are equal in length, marking the official start of spring. Ostara is celebrated by various pagan and neo-pagan traditions, such as Wicca. The origin of Ostara can be traced back to ancient pagan festivals that honored the changing seasons and celebrated the arrival of spring. One of the main symbols associated with Ostara is the egg, which represents fertility, new life, and the rebirth of nature. In fact, the name Ostara is believed to have originated from the Germanic name Joster, who was associated with spring, fertility, and the early morning that we like to call dawn. During Ostara celebrations, people often participate in the rituals and customs that reflect the themes of renewal, growth, and balance. This may include decorating eggs. Does that sound familiar, right? Planting seeds, lighting candles, and spending time outdoors in nature. It's a time to welcome the return of warmer weather, longer days, and the beauty of spring. Basically, Ostara is a time to honor the cycles of nature, embrace the spirit of renewal, and celebrate the awakening of life after the long winter months. Now, the spring equinox is a special moment in nature when, as we mentioned with Ostara, the length of day and night are nearly equal. It marks the transition from winter to spring symbolizing renewal, balance, and new beginnings. And yet again, we can see where modern day traditions originate from pagan origins. Hey everyone, it's Greg from N5D.com and another way you can help support our channel is through our N5D Etsy shop. Check it out, I'll leave a link in the video. You can find all sorts of amazing N5D merch in our Etsy shop, so check it out. And thank you for helping to support in 5D. I want it, I got it. I want it, I got it. I want it, I got it. From a spiritual perspective, the spring equinox holds significance across many cultures and traditions. It's seen as a time of awakening, growth, and rejuvenation. It's a reminder of the cyclical nature of life where darkness gives way to light and dormant seeds start to sprout, bringing forth new life and possibilities. So how can we benefit from the spring equinox? What can we learn? It's about renewal and rebirth. You know, just as nature undergoes a transformation during spring, individuals can use this for personal renewal, right? It's an opportunity to let go of the old and embrace new beginnings, whether it's setting new goals, starting a new project, or adopting healthier habits. We can learn to balance energies as the equinox represents a balance between light and dark and day and night. 
It reminds us of the importance of finding balance in our own lives, whether it's balancing work and happy time or finding harmony between physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. The spring equinox reinforces our connection to nature through observing the changing seasons and aligning with natural rhythms of the earth, helping us feel more connected to nature. This connection can bring a sense of grounding, peace, and harmony, and give us a deeper appreciation for the world around us. The spring equinox is a time for spiritual growth and enlightenment. It's a time for introspection, self-discovery, and inner transformation as we shed old patterns and embrace new insights. The spring equinox is also about celebration and rituals that honor the earth, fertility, and new life. Participating in these rituals can be a way to cultivate gratitude, community, and a sense of belonging. So here's a short little to-do list that I put together on ways you can use the spring equinox to strengthen your spiritual development and journey. Number one, connect or reconnect with nature. Spend time outdoors and soak in the energy of the changing season. Take a walk at the beach, in the park, garden, or simply sit in your backyard and watch the beauty of nature awakening. Number two, reflect on renewal. And that's all you need to do is to take some quiet time for introspection. Reflect on what aspects of your life you'd like to renew or refresh. Number three, embrace balance. Recognize the balance between light and dark, day and night. Seek to bring balance into your own life. Number four, practice gratitude. You know, and that's something we should be doing every day and every season, right? Just take a moment to appreciate the abundance of the natural world and the opportunities for growth and renewal that the spring equinox brings us. And number five, set intentions. This is big. A lot of people use the energy of the equinox to set intentions for the months and year ahead. What is it you want to manifest or cultivate in your life? Write down your intentions and visualize them coming to fruition. It's the law of attraction, baby. And that's what I have for you guys this month. So get out there and embrace new beginnings and appreciate the beauty of life. And remember to set your intentions. And I hope that all of your intentions are attained. If no one told you this yet today, please allow me to be the first. You are loved. You are appreciated. Thank you for your service to humanity. I want to thank you all for being part of our N5D Patreon family. Your support goes a long way in helping me to make ends meet. So thank you from my heart to yours. Until the next time, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. Take care, everyone.